I've said it's an impressive win for Chelsea tonight in terms of coming back, not crumbling as they've done many, many times before. Um, what's your thoughts to Sam? Stop this bullshit, bro. Stop this bullshit, bro. Be quiet, Mo. My thoughts is as Stop follows. Stop this bullshit, bro. Here comes, people. The agenda's here. Here it comes. Embrace it, Go, ahead. Go, ahead. Go ahead. I think uh, Pochettino should win manager of the season. That's yeah. my honest opinion. I think Pochettino should 100% be manager of the season. I think the fact that bums like Mudrik and Madueke and players like that are in sixth place right now, you get me seventh or sixth or whatever, he should win manager of the season. Absolutely unbelievable by Pochettino once again, just dominating, you know, Nottingham Forest, all the chances that they created, un un unbelievable. Jackson alone, I know he scored at the end. He could have scored about four goals in the game, three goals in the game. He just missed all the, the chances. He was literally... Um, you know, controlling certain balls with his heels. Even Cole Palmer had a chance in front of goal. He missed it. Even Mudrik had a chance in front of goal. He missed it. Even Nkunku had a chance in front of goal. He missed it. I could go on and on and on with the chances that Chelsea created. And this is the type of stuff that we keep telling Chelsea fans who are absolutely clueless, who think Pochettino's at fault for, for what's happening at Chelsea. Pochettino ain't at fault for what's happening at Chelsea. Pochettino is the best performer out of everyone at Chelsea Football Club. You all need to blame Clown Lake for putting you in this position to begin with. You're out here busy selling hotels instead of focusing on the football because you're the direction of the club is so clueless. Absolutely, I've never seen a more clueless club this whole this whole season. There's no more clueless club in terms of direction than than Clear Lake and and, and Chelsea. Um, I think today Chelsea just showed exactly why what, what what they're doing right now. You know the Pochettino. Everyone's saying, "Oh, Poch has no system. He has no style." No, he does have a system, and he does have a style. His style is four-two-three-one, pressing from the front. I can describe everything that he does. It's so obvious. Um, you know, and the players have started performing. The players have started performing. This has nothing to do with Pochettino. Pochettino's been a great manager the whole time. He's a fantastic manager. Yes, he's not Pep or Klopp, but he's the best that Chelsea can get right now, and this is a fact. And Chelsea fans think that sacking him is going to solve any problems. They ain't going to solve no problem. You know, so right now, they're doing really well. They won three games in a row. They're in seventh place. And I think next game, obviously, if United drop... Uh, uh, not United, sorry. If Newcastle drop points, then they might end up being in sixth place. And if he finishes in sixth, then Pochettino should 100% win manager of the season. If I had a vote, if I was a journalist, I'm voting Pochettino because he got these bunch of mid mediocre crap players to sixth place. I have no idea how he done it. I'm taking more players than Wolves than I'm doing Chelsea. You know, the ones that... Thank God you don't have a vote. Thank one God second. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so your, vote, uh, your vote's fraudulent. Your vote's fraudulent. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Fraudulent. Today, fraudulent. today, Chelsea scored three goals. I think they could have scored four or five uh, easily, you know. Um, and this is just the, the story of Chelsea's season. I have to give credit to the players now at the end. I'm actually going to say the truth. I have to give uh, credit to the players for actually stepping up towards the end. The end of the season now that there's no more pressure or whatever it is, they've stepped up and they've actually shown glimpses of what they could become. We've seen the best of Jackson over the last four or five games. We've seen the best of the likes of Mudrik and Madueke and all these players towards the last four or five games. And they've stepped up and they started performing. I guess a little bit of Premier League experience is always helpful. So, yeah, well done. You guys are, se are seventh. Listen, uh, one, one challenge I've got for you on that before we, we try and get a little bit onto the game. Yes. I understand your defense of Poch. Yes. But, you know, me, me and Don have clashed over a few things. But the one mm -hmm. I think the area that we agree and I want to ask you about is what about the games where he's playing Colwell at left back, where he's playing Chilwell on, on the left hand side of midfield mm -hmm. so regularly this season? And, and again, this is the one where me and Don would probably disagree. I think keeping Enzo and Caicedo playing together for so long has been a problem. I, 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 and I don't think it's about Enzo not being good enough per se, but since he's been out the team, they have been better overall. I know today that they they had to rely on some substitutions, but that happens. Surely, I'm not saying Potch is to blame for everything. Never once said that. But mm -hmm. surely the, some of the criticism of him is fair. Yes. 100% some of the criticism of him is fair. I think the stuff that Potch needs to criticize, criticize for is the way that Chelsea defend and set-piece defending. Those two things are 100% objective, constructive criticisms of the manager. 100%. And if anyone said that, I agree. In terms of chopping and changing, Terry, sometimes when you go to a new club, you need to figure out what works and what doesn't work. This is the problem with these Chelsea fans. I told you, the problem is the fan base. 
This is the biggest problem. They're just not used to the step-by-step stuff that takes time. They just want directly win, 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 win. They have an Abramovich mindset with Todd Bowley players. Make it make sense. It doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. Also, one of the reasons why Poch chopped and changed so much, and even Andrew will tell you this as a Chelsea fan, is the amount of injuries that they've had. And Kunku comes in, plays a little bit, and then he's injured. And then Reece James comes in, plays a little bit, and then he's injured. And then Gusto's injured. And then Chilwell's injured. And then Colwell's injured. And then Kukurella's injured. And then their centre-back partners have been injured. And even Sanchez got injured. That's why Petrovic started to begin with. This is the type of stuff I'm saying. All agendas aside, Chelsea have been absolutely screwed with injuries this season. That's why, by definition, he's had to change stuff around a lot. Out of, you know, out of all the Chelsea players who hasn't been injured this whole year? Gallagher. That's it. The rest of them have all had injuries at the point in time this season. Yeah, look, the so in- that injury, doesn't help. Yeah, I mean, injury, injuries certainly play a part. And I think that's the, the problem with a lot of these conversations, Sam, is that, that they're always far too imbalanced so of course yeah. the injury the injuries that chelsea have had the injuries that newcastle have had, the injuries that man united have had have impacted the amount of points we've got this season 100%. because if, because if, if not, equally if arsenal or city had as many injuries as we did they'd probably still be up near the top but they definitely wouldn't have as many wins as they had now depending on what players were out but of course yeah. i think it's it's a it's a balance of everything which is key we'll come back to that in a minute um andrew really good win to come back what i said earlier and i'd love to get your take on this is it wasn't the best chelsea performance we've seen in the last three, three four five weeks but to be two one down to make some proactive changes and to show the mental strength to recover has been something hugely missing from chelsea for a couple of years now yeah i mean i'll credit Poch for making the subs they worked that, that we won but for over an hour we were crap over an hour, we were rubbish. We were too slow on the ball. The passing backwards, not making any runs. It just wasn't working. He changed it. No problem. There was still that was my. I don't know what what the tactics were. Why we were too slow on the ball? Why we were still in the same formation we had been for the last two and a half games that he's been propped up by the likes of a Sam for. So um, it, it it's a win. It's a win. Performances don't generally matter this time. End of this time of the season. It's all about wins. We needed to win because Newcastle dropped points. I'm not focusing on Spurs. That's a leap too far with only two games left. It has to be focused on Newcastle. We had to win because they dropped points. We got the goals. Reese is back. We're on a bit of a good vibe. Let's just focus on doing uh, getting into Europe, and then we can talk about Pochettino after that. But he got the subs right, which was which was good. And by the way, like that, like as Super Chat said, I thought Sterling came on and actually done very well. Yeah, actually changed the game. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. Sterling certainly did. And um, what was your thoughts on on seeing uh, Reese James back? I mean, he, his performance was excellent. There have been some rumours in the media about maybe he's one of the players that might go this summer. Um, surely they, they're not going to let someone of he. I know they're letting a lot of academy players go, but surely it can't be Reese James. No, I was a bit worried when he's running so hard and for that goal. I thought he's going to pull up with hamstring. That's just my evil mind. But. Um, I, yeah, it's good to see him back. Um, just another option, just to have him about and be more of a good vibe around. Um, it was good to see him back. And yeah, like I say, he performed well. Like you said earlier in the stream, maybe that, that him and Gusto thing is a thing going forward for the rest of for the next two games. I don't think he'll start against Brighton. He might start against Bournemouth. But just to have that option, have him in the squad, have him around um, will help because he is... He is the face of Chelsea at this moment in time. He, he should be the face of Chelsea. And yeah, he did well when he came on. Like I said, uh, Jackson is Jackson. You're just going to have to take that with him. He's going to miss about eight and score one. And that's what we got today. So you're just going to have to take that as time until we get a proper striker. But, you know, we won. Um, I don't know how Cole Palmer got man of the match, by the way. <laughs> I don't know how Sky gave him man of the match, but... They gave him man of the match. I, I, did, I did. I did want to. Um, I, I don't know if Don's coming on today, but I did want to ask Don. This is and this is not having a pop Chelsea fan at Eden Hazard, but this is why I said to him, I can't take man of the matches as a, a barometer for why because we've just seen Carl Palmer get one today that he didn't deserve, didn't deserve. and deserve. they do that. They, that and that's not. Listen, Palmer's an excellent player. That pass from him today was amazing. I thought he had a good game. I felt it should have gone to either. Sterling or Reese James when they came on. And maybe I think both of those two had such an amazing impact when they came on. I know they mm. only played for 15 to 20 minutes, but they were the difference makers. But yeah, yeah, I, I hear you on that. And also say it's like these guys know Cho. 
So why would you show him onto his right foot? He doesn't have a left foot to begin with. So why would you show every time he got down that they kept showing him onto his right foot? I don't get this in modern football. <laughs> they do it. All the fullbacks show the wiggers onto their who, good foot. Who and he was, was trying um, it all game. He had, he had one. Well, who, was, who, who was it? He had that he, one who was he was just about. Sorry. Gusto, Gusto. Was it Gusto? Was it, it Gusto? Gusto he was up against? Was it Gusto? Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. I just but don't even remember though, which one it was. Even if you haven't played him, you know he's... But, but he's been doing it all game. You know that's... He hasn't got a left foot. His left foot's very weak, right? So you know he's going to... So why would you do that? I see modern football happens all the time. Everyone, the opposite winger, they, they always showed him onto the good foot. And it just... He'd been eyeing that goal up all game. He'd hit the bar about three minutes before then. He'd been doing it. And it's just... And I thought that was it. I thought that's the dagger right there. Cho dagger right there. Half the fan base in the Chelsea fan base would be happy about it anyway because they love for Cobham. But that would that would just happen. But overall, good good fight, good fight back. Poch deserves credit for the subs. But it was just frustrating that first 55, 60 minutes. I know we scored, but just the way we were passing and and just just slow on the ball, just very, very slow on the fight. Exactly. It was like watching Man City at times today, man, was slow on the fight on the ball. It was just very boring. Andrew, what was frustrating? Can you tell me, please? I'm actually confused. I don't know what frustrated you. I was frustrated with it's just the it was very slow movement with when we had the ball. It was just the build-up was slow. And it, I thought I why weren't we playing like we had been against the two better teams in the two previous games? Forrester for us to stayed up because they didn't they didn't need the point in the end today. So they're up. So why don't we just go for it? Go for the next. We've already. I'm not even bothered about conceding. We've all, we've conceded 60 goals, so it doesn't even matter about the how many goals we concede because we can see 60 goals. Just go for it. Go two or three nil up, and then start playing slow. And that's what that's what frustrated me. That's all. But you know, we won, and like I said, I just want the three points. And because I'm, I'm with him, points, actually. I, I didn't think Chelsea.